Heaviest cargo plane in the world is the Antonov An-225. It has a wingspan of 290 feet and a takeoff weight of over 700 tons. It was built over 30 years ago, and it's the only one of its kind, but there are even larger transport vehicles which can move entire towns. So let's get right into it and look at the top 7 transport vehicles. We begin the video with number 7 and we look at a very interesting process which lifts and moves entire buildings. The company Wolf House and Building Movers actually specializes in this industry and they basically structurally support the entire building and then hydraulically lift it with heavy duty dollies. And you can kind of think of them as mini vehicles with their own air brakes and power steering, but they can also be combined to move very large structures. Some buildings include a 5 story hotel, a stone tower and a very large church. So you can pretty much move an entire town and there really is no limit to this kind of transportation. That's number 6 the Mack Titan. The longest road trains in the world stem from Australia and these vehicles are pretty extreme. A single Mack Titan once hauled 113 trailers measuring over 4800 feet. But road trains are typically a little bit smaller. The Titan Mack features a 16 liter big block MP10 which clocks in at over 680 horsepower and 2300 foot pounds of torque. It also features an M drive 12 speed semi automated manual transmission, which makes the gear changing a little bit easier. But I wouldn't want to get stuck with this truck as it would likely take a lot of downtime and fending off aggressive kangaroos in the outback. At number 5, the Crawler Transporter. This enormous self powered platform carries some of the largest spacecraft in the world. From the Saturn V to the Space Shuttle, this crawler would typically transport spacecraft from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building to the launch site. The very large vehicle has a mass of 3,000 tons and it's powered by two 2,700 horsepower V16 diesel engines. But it's not exactly the fastest thing in the world, and it has a max speed of 1 mile per hour loaded. So it would take about 5 hours to get to the launch site. The good news is, is that it's a pretty robust and reliable system, so it's going to be used to launch the SLS in just a few years. At number 4, the self propelled modular transporter commonly known as the SPMT. These units carry some of the biggest things in the world. Each platform vehicle has a large array of wheels which can rotate 360 degrees. It also can combine into other units, so there really is no size limitation to this type of vehicle. One person can also operate the entire system, but it would be a good idea to have a few spotters in place before demolishing the entire local street. And the modules can contain up to 6 axle lines, with the largest variant handling up to 70 tons per axle line. These units will transport anything, including ships, power stations, bridges, and even wind turbines. So once again, there really is no limit to this type of transportation. Now we get into something a little bit different and we look at the VB-10000. This unit is one of the largest lifting vessels ever made, and it can lift objects over 7,500 tons to a height of 178 feet. It has a fully automated positioning system consisting of four 1,000 horsepower thrusters and it can go into any depth of water. The VB-10000 also has two giant 1,100 ton claws which can basically retrieve sunken boats and other debris. It can also destroy a lot of things too. The boat has already retrieved over 175,000 tons of iron. So if a captain of a cruise ship goes into crazy mode and tries to show off and capsizes it, then this machine would likely come there, demolish it, and take it back to shore. That's number 2, the Vanguard. You have probably seen a lot of clickbait thumbnails depicting this incredible ship. The Vanguard can transport 110,000 tons of cargo at a time, and it has moved pretty much everything including a cruise ship and even an oil rig. In order to transport huge things, the ship partially submerges itself underwater. The ship has a 900 by 230 foot deck, and it's also equipped with buoyancy casings which can be moved to various positions to accommodate different kinds of cargo. The ship also has quite a bit of power as well, and it's powered by multiple Wartzilla engines which clock in at over 27,000 kilowatts. This also allows it to go over 14 knots on the water. Ultimately, this would be the perfect vessel if you wanted to steal some billionaire's yacht. That's number one, the MSC Galson. It almost seems like container ships just keep getting bigger and bigger, and the Galson is a Goliath. It is over 1300 feet long and 200 feet wide. The ship weighs in at over 232,000 tons loaded, and it has a 23,000 TEU container rating. 
It features the latest navigation technology, so it picks the most appropriate path according to price and safety measures. And hopefully that includes staying away from Somalian pirates. The ship is also capable of being converted into an LNG ship in the future, but for now it's just hauling a lot of containers across the world. Once again, I do not think that this container ship will be the biggest for very long because cargo ships are only getting bigger and world trade is only increasing. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.